So if you want to measure your guitar strings accurately, you really only need one thing, and that's this, a digital caliper. So I have one from Presiva. I got it from Amazon. I'll show you what that looks like here. You can see the box right there. So here's what you do. I'm going to show you my guitar right now. I have it sitting on my desk like this with the neck on a pillow. And the reason why I do that, there's no, re there's no significant reason really. I just do that because I don't like it when the tuning pegs are holding the guitar up. It just bugs me. But uh, anyway, so what you want to do is you want to have your, your caliper, right? You have your caliper. And you want to zero it out with the, cl with the claws when they're closed. So zero it out like that. And then what you're going to do, I'm going to make sure I put it where I, where you can see it. So you open it up. So you can see, I don't know if you can see that reading on there, but it says 52. I'm going to, I'm going to zero that again. And then I'm going to go like this to the high E string. So it says 10 on the reading. So I'm going to show you that one more time. That way you know what's up. That way you have an idea of what it, the numbers actually look like on the, on the caliper. So as you can see, you can see the number there. It says 52. So that means obviously I got 52 gauge, right? These are heavy strings on this guitar. So I'm going to close the claw again. I'm going to make sure I zero it out. I'm going to make sure I zero it out. So you can see the reading it says 10. I guess it says 10, five, and that's because when I pull the caliper away, it adjusts the measurement a little bit, but yeah, so I got 52 to 10 on there. So it's a, a slinky top, a heavy bottom from Ernie ball, I believe. But anyway, it's really just as simple as that. You just make sure you have a good digital caliper and then uh, you'll have an accurate reading of what your strings are. And I think it's just great to have one like this because then you can use it as much as you want, whenever you want. And you don't have to do this like craziness. Like I saw an internet forum where people were talking about how they would figure it out via measuring and uh, comparing and contrasting to other string gauges. And I just thought like, man, like it'd make your life a lot easier if you just had a digital caliper. You just figure it out in like a couple seconds, you know. But uh, yeah, that's all for this video. Make sure you like, uh, excuse me, make sure you like and subscribe. And then uh, I'll see you in the next one. All right.